guys welcome back yes the game room is just about finished it's about 99.9% .9 done there's a few niceties I wouldn't mind doing but I wanted to get this video out because I've been harping on about this now for th three weeks <laughs> oh my word three fucking weeks and certainly the last week has been a killer um, people not sending stuff out people not delivering on time uh, post being two to three weeks late, oh it goes on and on and on. You obviously, if you're a follower of my channel, saw my DIY video where I repaired some old shelves that I've got in here. Well, the wife pointed something out. We changed that as well and then it just progressed from there. So this has completely changed. But just to give you guys a recap, this is what the room used to look like. Oh my god, we're going all the way back to June 2017. That is almost three years ago now. Oh, and this was my very first YouTube video. I did a very simple five minute game room tour. I'd not long set this up. And well, let's just put it on fast forward. Ooh, there's the Atari 2600. There's the NES. You know, the basic setup hasn't really changed, not one little bit. But I have had to remove so things guys, and make the odd tweaks. And there you have it. That's how the business end of the game room looked. Well, let's get on to how it looks now. Right, so before I actually get to the business end of the room, because I've already done you know, PlayStation 4 collection video, I thought I'd just start at the back wall. Now this is above where I sit. As you can see there, yeah, I've got a couple of mini systems on the wall. They're actually just held up with Velcro, to be quite honest. So uh, if I want to use them, I can just pull them off plug them in and away you go. Uh, the PS3 driver collection sets there it's purely because I've got no other room to put it. Uh, PS Vita oh yeah there's a, there's a great PS Vita collection video coming up incidentally. Spider-Man issue one. Assassin's Creed obviously Deus Ex. As you can see it's quite full, but I have packed away a lot of these PS4 games. 
half of my collection is now packed away. It's a shame, but there's not really a lot I can do about it. And then I got me Wii U at the top. Oh, classic. So zoom in on that. Cheater. Remembers them cheater joysticks, eh? Xbox One and another collectible. Just zoom in on those so you can see them better. A few collectibles. My wife made me that. Just beads. You know, you iron them together. Just come down a bit. There you go. I have got quite a few handhelds. And then just coming down to the city, I'll pan back out. Kids get me toys. Remembers Kane, eh? Fantastic. And just to go up at the top. Yep, slap some old joysticks. NES. Sega. Sorry about the quality, but the sunlight is glaring through. A classic Commodore joystick. Right, let's get to the business end. <laughs> Starting top left of where I sit, there's my Doom album, that's the music from Doom, it's absolutely fantastic, I've not opened that but I've got it digitally so fantastic stuff, Star Wars toy there, BB-8, my daughter got me, Atari plug and play, and the Playstation 2, Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Joystick. Right, first of my switching boxes. I'm trying to remember what make this is. Uh, Bambridge, that was it. Right, that's a Bambridge Scart switcher box. Now, I'm going to switch the power on. Light comes on. Switch the other one down at the bottom, which I'll get to in a minute. And away I go. But as you can see there, 32X, the Mega Drive, and the Mega CD. And next to it, the Mini. I wouldn't mind getting the tower version of that as well. Aliens. You don't love Aliens, eh? Master System. Yep, gaming headset. Now, these switcher boxes. Let me just lean back and get... Oh, sorry. Quality. Quality as usual. These switching... That's how I control all the power in my room. They are a PC08 PC FX switch panel. And there you go. That's what I use. Basically, it's a 3 pin 10 amp connector that goes in there. As you can see, 15 amp. It's got a breaker attached to it, so all these are fused. Fantastic. Dead easy. So I just switch on and away I go. Coming down a bit. I'm going to drop to my knees. Sorry. <laughs> Sega Saturn. The Dreamcast. Now, this is an updated one for myself. It's modded. So, number six. It's had the bio mod fitted. As you can see, LED. Custom LEDs. So the battery changed. I've not had the HDMI fitted on this yet, but I think I will do, because it's just, it's just fantastic. I've got HDMI out via, via VGA downstairs, but it's just a brilliant picture. N64. God, you can hear it spinning away already. There must be a disc inside that. I'll put it off. <laughs> GX4000. What a quirky console. In fact, you can't really see the top of it. I'll just remove those. Look at it. 
so alien, so futuristic looking. Came out too late in life. Everybody was moving on to 16-bit, and that was an 8-bit when it came out. Not to worry, Amstrad. But they never went back to make another console. Now, there is my TurboGrafx-16. It's not plugged in. And there, if you can see, those are the connectors I use. Dead easy to wire up. Just basically cut the plug off and put it on. It's not possible, though, on, on all of them, because the power supply is the plug. It's a huge thing. So I just make a mini extension lead. Um, Cybergraphics 16. It's not working quite right. I'm going to get a new power supply for it. And hopefully that, that, that'll be the issue. Moving on, what have I got covered? Well, these are the 64 joysticks. But it's not that that's under there. And if I can get this out without damaging it, it's where I keep it. It's not plugged in away to go. Come on, William. Maybe I should have had this off ready. Mega 1200. It's maxed out. I've also got a flash card in there as well. Absolute beast. Don't play that, don't use it as often as I'd like. But now I've got my uh, room reset up, that's going to get used a lot more. My other switch box. <sighs> Sorry about the lighting. Another PlayStation 3. But what's connected is the PlayStation 3 test system. PS1, PS2, PS3 games. I've got issues with it at the moment because it's not playing PS2 games properly. So I've got a funny feeling maybe the laser's been out on that. Because I know it uses the same. I think it's got two lasers built into it. So it uses obviously one for the PS3, PS1 games, and a separate one for the PS2. But I need to look into that. PS2 there, and you can't really see it. My JFJ Easy Pro disc cleaning system. That has saved me so, so much money. It is untrue. Now, as you can see, obviously, I did the shelves in the DIY vid. But what I did was, I added extra shelves. I got myself some couplers. I grinded out a bit of metal on the inside, and we added more shelves. So, there's now, is it two more? Yeah, two more shelves in there. Because the gaps were huge, and it just seemed a real waste. So, going back up to the top, my NES. I don't really use that anymore. And I've only put it there at the moment, because quite honest, I've got nowhere else to put it. <laughs> PS, uh, <laughs> PS3 Bioshock Special Edition complete. Halo, Master Chief, fantastic. Modern Warfare 2 Night Vision, and they do actually work as a night vision. I was so surprised. They're actually pretty good. I've always wanted that. Bought it years later. Dirt, dirt cheap. Right, right side of my game room. Not lots changed really. Kira, which is complete in the box. You got the t shirt in there as well. Sounds of San Francisco into your driver, you'll know all about that. My original PS3, uh, PS2, <laughs> Hot Star Galactic here. And unfortunately, the ill fated Ouya. Dropping down. Wii U there, nowhere else to put it. It's <laughs> the only reason why it's on that shelf. A fantastic Amiga CD32. Claimed to have been the world's first 32-bit system. It may be worldwide, it can just claim that, but there was a Japanese system that came out a month before it. I can't for the life of me remember what that is now off the top of my head. Jaguar, who remembers the adverts on that one? 
Yep, made all games as if we're all thick hours. Not a true 64 bit. GameCube with the adapter at the bottom and a wave bird. These are fantastic. I know you've got to sell a kidney these days to try and get older one, but these are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Spider Man, yep, yeah, into my Spidey. Right, dropping down again. Panasonic 3DO, just a fantastic system. Original Xbox, and what I like about this one is modded. I've got about oh, close to 2,000 games on that. Anything from the ZX Spectrum to the N64, and quite a lot in between. That's a quite a beast, and I really do like. So zoom a little bit more there. Thermostat LED screen. Brilliant. Dropping down again. Philips CDI. Some of the games on that were brilliant, absolutely breathtaking. Way ahead of its time. That's the original. That's about maybe 17 or 20 different versions. Dropping down again. Neo Geo CD with my kidney joystick. And dropping down again to a load of old tat. <laughs> Actually, in here, these are games I've got to check. I'm not sure if these are my games or games I'm going to be selling. Those are a load of PS1 copies that I'm slowly replacing. My second box is Daisy Chain from the one at the top. And in here, I've just got a rock of loose cards. There's a load of Game Gear there, Game Boy, Game Cube, all sorts of stuff. PlayStation 3 joystick. It's not the biggest, baddest joystick in my collection, and if I remember, I'll get that out before the end of the video. But that is used for Elite Dangerous, and it is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant joystick. Highly recommended. As you can see, just coming into shot there, Xbox 360. Slim version, got that off my good friend Jason Mansell. Right, let's move into the centre. Well, here we are. The business end. As you can see, the CRT TV has gone. It was a massive television, taking up an absolute ton of room. And I've just reached the point where, you know what, I need that little bit more room in here, so... I've got rid of that. I'll end up getting another one if I ever get my garage converted. Got a bit of hmm, knobbly knees, look at hey. We've got a bit of Samurai Shadown going there. Just, there you go. Just hope that'll just, there we go. Yes, that's a PlayStation 1 I've converted into a clock. Done that myself, hasn't cost me anything. It was a system that I had, I actually spray painted the outer case because it was just beat up, absolutely beat up. And I just don't need it. Now I've got two of them. So I thought, you know what, recycle it to something else. They are my LED lights backlit. <laughs> Great they are, to be fair. Nice, obviously, in the dark. Now, the television, as I'm wobbling all over the place, so I'm going to put this camera down onto the stand in a second, just so I can tell you guys exactly what it is, because I know some of you will sleep better. It's a Sony 46-inch 1080p HD, and it's a KDL 46Z4500. It does give... Let's put this down. It does give an absolute sweet, pitch, sweet picture, and this has got to creak like crazy. 
Hello. And I'm more than happy with it still. What I like about this television is it's modern enough, the games look fantastic on it. It's not 4K, but the games still look fantastic. They really do. But it's old enough, it still accepts SCAR. But it's also modern enough that it has an Ethernet connection. So I can, I can actually watch my films and all that from upstairs. I say upstairs, go, go any higher, I'm in the bloody loft. Right. Let's get over. So, what have we got here? I've got, come on, focus in. I've got two HDMI switch boxes, one at either end. Also got my Apple Mac. Yep, PlayStation 4 camera for me VR, as well as when I do live. Raspberry Pi. Retron 5, what a fantastic piece of kit that is. And I recently bought one of those retro receivers from 8 Bit Doer. Brilliant. Um, and one of the easiest controllers to hook up to that, you just push the um, you know, connect button on it, is the Wii U controller. And the Wii U controller, I must admit, is fantastic. I think this is a brilliant controller. Let's just bring it into shot. That is a brilliant controller. It feels absolutely fantastic in your hands and everything. I really do recommend these controllers. Obviously next to that, the ill-fated Wii U. 15 million copies, 50 million copies. 15 million of them sold worldwide. And it's brilliant. If you've not got into collecting that, you need to. I think the games on it are fantastic, they really are. And then just dropping down a bit, so probably creak again. My Xbox One, PlayStation 4, yeah I bought it. You can mod the hell out of that now. You know, I'm not afraid of modding stuff, you know, what I'd like to do is bring all of my consoles and that with a proper HDMI inside, you know, I, I can't be doing with pound leads and the hyperkin leads. I've tried them, and the fact that you've got to supply power to them as well. I mean, Jesus, if you think about it in here, if I had to do that with every system, I'm doubling up on my power all the time. I, I haven't got enough plug sockets or anything in here to do that. In the drawers, let's just back this up a little bit. In the drawers, you've got a load. I say a load, it's not bloody load, is it? NES games. In fact, I was having a flip through some of these before. Kung Fu. You know, brilliant game. Just brilliant. What's that? Splatterhouse. Yep. I don't bother keeping these in any form of order. Turtles. Any others that stick out? Ugh. Ghost and Goblins. One of them, you know, the hardest games you will ever play. But one of the ones I recommend if you still use an older system is that 501. It's a great way to play a load of NES games. And I've got some N64. I mean, what's that? Actually, it's the uh, Super Famicom. I've got games for that. Stargate. In fact, I think that's what these all might be. Let's quickly go through these. Another world. Yes. And then the rest of it's just leads and God knows what. You've got to have some room, haven't you? So, a simple draw to pop that back. Swing around. Show you what clutter I keep in the other one. And in here, I've got handhelds, joysticks, Sega Game Gear. No, cracking piece of kit. But back in the day, you know what? This was not the daddy. Neither was the Game Boy. The Game Boy wasn't the daddy. I'll show you that in a minute. 
Obviously joysticks, classic old handhelds. In fact, there you go. There's something unique. This is the world's smallest cartridge-based handheld. I haven't got a battery compartment for it, which is a shame. But there you go. Pop that out. Pokemon Mini. They only made so many games for it. Rare as hen's teeth, and I've got one. <laughs> and it's thrown in a drawer. Let's get a few more of these wires out. Because I've got all sorts in here. I've got my links. I think that's me uh, PSP. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's my PSP. Great little handheld. Mark 1 links, full working order. There you go. Sorry about the glare. Fantastic. Wanted the Mark 1 over the Mark 2, even though really it's the Mark 2 you should be going for. Don't go for the Mark 1 because they're problematic. And then I've got, I've got a load of these. Nintendo DS lights. I've got the red, the white, the silver and the black. I think it's only the blue I need. I think I might have the full collection there. Let me know in the comments. Game Boy Color, I don't actually have the original Game Boy. The wife sold that years ago, but the daddy. If you're a collector of handhelds, you must have this in your collection, surely. And if you haven't, you're not a collector of handhelds, as far as I'm concerned. PC Engine GT, also known as the Turbo Express. This was the daddy. This was the mother of all handhelds. LED screen. Sorry, it's not LED screen. Colour lit screen. You also could have plugged in there your um, receiver to watch, to watch, God, listen to me, to watch TV and all that. But what it also did was it turned this into a monitor. So you could actually hook up other um, systems to it. Now, what's special about this? First of all, the price. Because back then, this would have cost you over 200 quid. <laughs> How much was the Game Boy? 50? 80? So, this wasn't maybe the item you're going to buy your kid at Christmas. But, and this is where NEC should be commended. Remember, NEC were the first people to bring out CD format games, full stop. They were also the first and the only company to ever bring out a system and in the same lifetime bring out a handheld that would play the same games. It, it is basically the PC Engine or the TurboGrafx-16 in a miniature form. It plays them exactly the same. You use the same cards. No other manufacturer of handhelds has ever done that, ever. You could argue Sega with the Nomad, but I'm sorry that don't wash. Because when they brought out the Nomad, the Saturn was already out. NEC, the daddy. This is the daddy of handhelds. And it's one of my most prized possessions. Right, moving on. Right, moved over to the phone because the camera's bloody heavy. <laughs> Predator. That's just a load of old junk welded together. I think it looks pretty nifty still. Bought that at a, uh, it was a Christmas fair through years back. PS1 titles, a few there without covers. Some great games there. Castlevania, Capcom versus SNK. Can't go wrong. Diablo. June, I'll switch that on yet. I don't know if I'm keeping that one, to be honest. I want the instruction manual. Down again. Perfect. G-Police. Carl, you mentioned that one recently. 
Fantastic. What a game. Medieval 1 and 2. Nope, such brilliant games they were. Right, dropped to my knees a little bit. Metal Gear Solid. Rob, you mentioned those. Odd World. Obviously, I've got the special missions there on Metal Gear as well. Parasite Eve. Where's Parasite Eve 2? Because I can't... Oh, I see. It's under Blue Course Challenge. Parasite Eve, one of the best-looking games you will ever play. Highly sought after. Parasite Eve 2 only came out in the States. Star Wars. Incredible Silent Hill. What's that? Why have I got that backwards? That helps, doesn't it? Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. I'll switch that background in a minute. Let's just move these out of the way. Siphon Filter. You know what? I really did enjoy that series. Couldn't get into the third one. Token Touring Cars. Gonaldinho plays. What a fantastic challenge that was. Vagrant Story. One of the best... RPGs you will ever play. Seriously, if you've not played it, guys, get it out. Get it. Get it purchased. Play it. X2, fantastic shooter. Right, we're going to dive straight back up. Ugh. Folders, books, playthroughs. Got to keep them somewhere. This one is where I actually keep a record of all the games I've got packed away and what boxes and everything. So I know where everything is. At least I like to think so. Uh, we can't really see there. Just pull it out. Ooh, we dropped it. Beyond Two Souls Collector's Edition book with the game. Right. We'll go along a little bit. Possibly the only Amiga game I've got in here now. Oh, what a game. All the others, the have to be packed away. This is just fantastic. And behind that, my dog McGree with the Peacemaker Revolver. Yes, I know it's all just full motion video, but what a game. Very enjoyable. Next to that, a PSP collection. It's not all of them. Packed quite a few away. What I do is I'll either rotate, alternate, new games come in, complete them, pack away. In fact, I probably need to pack in away because I'm not going to play that on the PSP. Classic stuff. Not all my games. I'm trying to remember what fighting series these characters are from. I've got three of them in the room. Oh, it'll come to me. Probably want to get to me Saturn more than likely. Uh, Dark Stalkers, that's it. So we got Atari 2600 games there. We got a few boxed. Atari 7800 and ColecoVision. And some more box games. Look at Lutai. Not all of them. Like I say, packed away. Master System. Golden Axe. Reminds me, I've got to do uh, five lives with that. <laughs> Sonic, I've had them for donkey's years. I only remembered because I stumbled across them again. So I've got them out of the box. Shadow Advancer, that's been mentioned quite a bit just recently. Xenon 2, it's a mega blast. GX4000 games, that is my entire collection. It's not the easiest system to collect for. They always do very good money, so it's hard to pick them up at the right price. And my signed copy... Of Attack of the Mutant Camels, Jeff Minter himself. Brilliant guy, Jeff. Right, moving down. Oh, controller, I forgot to move. Right. Answers on a postcard, please. What system is that for? Super Famicom? NES. I haven't got a huge collection of these, but what I have got I'm happy with. Oh. Mega Drive Toe Jam and Earl. Yes. 
I've got Shaq Fu. Shinobi. Rings of Power. No, it's not that. It's Fairy Tale I'm thinking of. Right, Fairy Tale. This was the game that Naughty Dog used the profit to make. Oh, God. I would have to start this without doing my homework. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, no. And I've told this. I've told this loads of times. And it's a bit of a cack fighting game, but it's funny. I'll, I'll remember when I, I get over to the game. <laughs> Sorry. Move it over. Oh, yes. The Blue Max. Quality. A few N64 games there. Just a few. I haven't got a huge amount of those anyway. Oh, yes. Sega Saturn. A couple of Japanese titles, because I've got the ability to play it that way. Deep Fear. Really difficult. That one. If you've watched my channel long enough, you'll know. I only paid 50p for that. It had it in the DVD setup at um, a charity shop. 50p. It's a £100 game. Moving along there. Some nice titles. Panzer Dragoon. The lot. Road Rage. Brilliant game. Not the best port. Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. You know this is her home. Right, moving down. I'm going to have to drop a little bit lower. God, I've got too old for this shit. Uh, <laughs> so today, this is my current Dreamcast collection. I've got some nice ones, yeah. Two hours later. Right, sorry about that. Sorry about that doing this one again because the phone rang <laughs> so yeah I'm pretty sure that is my entire Dreamcast collection at the moment some great games in there I'm particularly happy with that another world and I'm looking for it, is it up? oh it's up there that's why I can't really see it I'm down my splatter house sorry you know I need to get lower oh. Ugh. Splatterhouse. What a brilliant game that is. You can play all the Splatterhouses, all the characters. Oh, fantastic homebrew. But I've got, a, you know, I've got a few good ones there now. I've got, I've got both the Shenmue's, so I'm really happy with that. Right, and the only... Is this the only boxed? Yeah, the only boxed... Jaguar game I've got. Ten... Tempest. Jeff Minter again. I'll see if I can get Jeff to sign me that. I'll just chuck that up there. Just a few discs. Xbox original. And what all of these should be, or the majority of them. I can't remember if this is my entire collection of Xbox only games. A lot more than this. I've got about a hundred and 2030. But these are all Xbox only. There's great games in there. You know, Microsoft really did go all out and gone, you know, getting a rock of exclusives. They really did. But just point out a couple there. Still Battalion. Those two games. Oh, look at the glare. Let's lift it up. Right. Unless you've got the big-ass joystick to go with this, you ain't playing them. You can't play them any other way. Impossible. Brilliant games. I'll show the joystick right at the end, because it's the biggest, baddest console joystick on the planet. But Great games. Oh, no, I've just spotted another one there. What a great game. Stubbs the Zombie. Rebel without a pause. But they made, you know, they made, they did make some brilliant games for this console. 
Right, I'm going to pause it there because I've got to get off my ass. Ooh. Right, PlayStation 2, my most favourite console. Nowhere near all of the games are here. Some great hidden gems amongst this collection. I really do enjoy collecting for the PlayStation 2. Anniversary edition. Let's just move that for a second. Incidentally, if you're wondering why these are here like that, I've got some straps to just keep the shelf, or I suppose the cupboard, if you like, to the wall. And they stick up a bit, so I just chopped out the back of them a little bit so I can get them in better. Quan, not the best. Best looking version, but oh, I've got it. Really happy to have that. Matt Slugs. Oh, what games, what games. Midway Arcade Treasures. Fantastic. Obscure. A lot of people talk about that one. Underrated. It's up there. It's a fantasy start. Yep. Project Zero. Fantastic games. Right, dropping down to more. More Night Stalkers characters. R Type. Final. Brilliant. Resident Evil. Rocky. Star Trek. Star Ocean. Potato Legends. Brilliant collection. The Thing. Oh, man. Somebody, come on, do a remake. It's a brilliant game. And, yeah, that's it. I've reduced it down to just that amount now, my PS2. Used to give that three shelves, but I just can't fit as much, you know. The room's only small. It's all at a premium. Now, I didn't know this, but the Game Boy Player startup disc. How many of those rare as hen's teeth now? Not all of my Game Boy games, but I'm happy with what I've got so far. Always collecting, or trying to collect for it. And again, more Dark Stalkers. I can't remember what this is. I know it's Splatoon. What is it? Oh, it's an Amobi. Amobi? Mobo? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't collect them. It just came to three. <laughs> but what I have also got on this shelf. Oh, yes, yeah, some miniatures. 3D printed. I mean, look at it. Oh. Handheld. I'm going to like about this one. Atari 2600. Little cartridge. I'm trying to show you that. Little cartridge as well. I'm going to glue those two. Because I've already lost that once. Dropping down. Oh, my knees. We. Uh, that's the, the gun. Nowhere near retro bear size. I grab him as and when. I got some nice ones in there. Quite happy with that, but what I have got next to them are uh, the 3D out of big box games that I've got. Doom, that one's sealed. Demolition Man, yeah. What a film that was. Right, dropping down to the PS3. Assassin's Creed. Three, what a fantastic game. 3D dot game, sorry, bloody half finger keeps dropping. 3D dot game. Oh, what a classic retro-looking game that is. Fantastic. Crisis 2 and 3. Civilization Revolution. Me and the wife still play that. Still play it. Land Party. L.A. Noir. Clive Barker's Jericho. Underrated. Pain! P-A-I-N! P-A-I-N! Oh, throwing it. 
More Resident Evil and Resistance. Again, underrated shooting game, that. Dropping down. Oh, some of those there. The Saboteur. Didn't, you know, a game that didn't do well, but it has got a solid campaign. So, you know, it's well worth playing. <sighs> Splatterhouse remake. Tales of Exilia 2. I've got the first one somewhere. Yeah, I have. I've just spotted it. It's in the wrong place. Let's just put that there. There you go. I'm happier now. Turok. And I've probably not grabbed a few of these, but, you know, steel cases. Still looks fantastic. I did enjoy the Turok series. And of course, Fallout New Vegas from my mate Andy. Fantastic gift. Right, dropping down further. Damn my knees. That was my knee clicking there. Alan Wake. If I had to recommend one psychological horror game, it would be that. Alan Wake. Brilliant game. Again, not my entire collection. Halo 4. Left for Dead. Brilliant games. Just to pop up there, some of the more recent ones. Right, got to get off my knees again. Bear with me. Right. At the top for the probably the last time. Mass Effect Collectors. Duke Nukem Forever Collection Edition. Mega CD, not a massive collection, by any stretch in the imagination. Hey, Night Trap, remembers that one. But, it's alright. Dropping down, CD32. Some good games in there, but really, I, the company wasn't along. Wasn't along. The company wasn't around long enough for us to really get the power out machine. Oh, we were playing with revamped bloody Amiga titles. But, uh, Chaos Engine. It's got to be done. Dark Seed. Remembers playing that on the PC, eh? And Last Ninja 3. Dropping down now to my TurboGrafx-16. In fact, what's that tucked under there? Oh, Legendary X. An absolute underrated system. In fact, I believe R-Type, original, the original R-Type, is supposed to be the definitive edition. Some great games. Bomberman. Shelf's a bit wobbly. I'll have two you complaining. Bomberman. King of Casino. What are those two? I just got shoved in there. Oh, JJ Jeff. Blank case. Dropping down again. Some Japanese. Because my handheld Turbo Express, it is Japanese. So I've got some Japanese games for it. Final lap. I'll, I'll show off all these. It's actually a great racing game, that one. Street Fighter 2, and this looks incredible. And Super Volley. 3DO. Now, theme park. That one, Star Wars Rebel Assault. Continuing with the 3DO there, and I'm looking for it now because I know it's on this. Sorry, got a little bit too close. That there it is. Right, right. Let's dive back to the Mega Drive. A second. So what you've got there is Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale was made by Naughty Dog, from the profit of that game. They started to make Way of the Warrior. <laughs> Which in all regards is a terrible fighting game. But, and this is 
true. They ran out of money. They were so skint it was untrue. They were filming the full motion capture for the, um, the fighters in their apartments using friends and family to basically, you know, be the actors. <laughs> While they were filming it, their neighbours thought, God, they're, they're shooting a porno? What are they doing? Oh! <laughs> when they finished it, the company, and for life of me, I can't put his name to mind at the moment, but he is Mr. PlayStation at the moment, in with the glasses. He enjoyed it that much that he gave them exclusivity for PlayStation 1 games, Crash Bandicoot. So if it wasn't for this, you wouldn't have had Crash Bandicoot. True story. Obviously some others there. Oh, Wing Commander. Fantastic. It's number three. I know I've got number four on the PlayStation. In fact, I've got, hang on, is that... Oh, God. Ugh, enough said. <laughs> I know I've got the other one. Right, dropping down a bit more. Because, obviously, I've got plenty of 3DO games. Phones of Alley. Battle Sport. Top with Clips. Got two different copies there. Right, this next bit now is going to get a bit awkward, so bear with me. Right, sorry about that, I just had to move. So, moving them down. I've got some music in that, but I've also got kept out aero fighters. I've got a couple more there, I think, yeah. So, King of Fighters 96. King of Fighters 95. Brilliant fighting games for the Neo Geo CD. Uh, my friend, Anthony, I can remember his last name, Driscoll, sent me these music CDs from the States as a gift. Anthony is quite a legend in the Neo Geo SNK world. Uh, his knowledge, I reckon, is second to none. And you really should check him out at ariage.com. Charlie Cat, bless him. The, you know, and it is the Neo Geo thread, if I remember that correctly, Anthony. If I haven't, slap me. Dropping down, CDI games. Not done too bad with them. In fact, and I'm sorry about the light levels at this point. But there is some good games in here. And I'm sorry, I know the lighting is horrendous now. I do apologise. And that's it, uh, apart from last little bit of a poster. Oh yes, Soul Reaver. I just put a few of them. Some classic Atari, Atari. listen to me, oh my god, wash your mouth out. <laughs> ZX Spectrum games, some classics there. Raziel, you are worthy. The only other thing I forgot to show you is my three and a half inch floppy coffee table. I really do enjoy that. I've had that now quite a few years. I ended up getting that, yes, from IKEA, but IKEA Germany. Um, originally, you could have got one where you could actually physically slide the bit of metal there. And, you know, it's not metal; it's just a picture on my. But the guy with that table wanted 300 quid, and it was just, no, it's not happening. Right, that's me done. That's my Game Room Tour 2020. There's a few consoles that have been sold. There's a few that are in storage. The Vectrix has gone. I never actually got round to repairing that one. I knew I wasn't going to have the time, so that went. What I have got still in storage. My beloved Atari 2600, got to have a Woody, the 7800, I've also got my Commodore 64, my Commodore 128, my Amiga 500 plus.
any other success. Yes, the Wii. The Wii is still in storage as well. And I've got a few duplicate consoles, but that's the lot. I've not bothered showing you them, because just Google them if you want to know what they look like, if you don't know what they look like. Right, let's wrap this up. It's probably gone on more than long enough. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I'll catch you lot again. Take care.